requesting you please do it. So how do you like this course? Are you getting interested? 
So everybody please, so we are late, so I ask everybody to log in to Gradescope and uh, create an account and connect to your course. I have already sent, uh, sent uh, an announcement to your D2 system, okay? Okay, let's start. I want to do a quick review from beginning, okay, from the starting, okay. So I think for module one or slide one, we don't have enough things to uh, So 
So when you are giving some uh, instruction to your print circuit, then it is printing on, on the console or on the out or on the monitor screen, right? So it is abstract. Print the code is abstract to us. We don't need, at this moment, we don't need to know how the print method is working. Yeah. We just need to know how I need to put my data or an inspection in order to organize, in order to print my output in an inspection. Print, uh, so there are several methods that you will use in more than uh, abstraction. You will learn more on abstraction in the next course. And you uh, learn more on people in the So we know that an algorithm has some properties, right? An algorithm needs to be correct and it should be precise, unambiguous, and it should be complete, and it should contain some level of abstraction. Yes, but really, abstraction is a difficult task. Difficult work. Sometimes it does not make sense. Initially, it will not make sense. Okay. But try to. Whenever you do not understand something, think that there is an abstraction. Yes. There is a lot of abstraction. In a way, whenever you do not understand something, or you do not find any clue how it works, then think that it is an abstraction. Yes. Don't spend too much time with, uh, like learning abstract things. Yes. So we started our journey in how to write algorithm and then how to write pseudo code and then uh, in that you learn how to write programs from your pseudo code and then debug, right? In your, in your test, you will not be asked to write any uh, what is that called? Closer. You will not be asked to write any drawing closer, but you will be asked to write some algorithm to describe some algorithm or you are using pseudocode. You will be asked to write some code, and over there you will be asked to write some output of some pseudocode. When this is done, read through the, uh, uh, the PowerPoint slide. Okay. But uh, sometimes I add some extra, I add some extra slides, so that should help you understand. Okay. You can see all that way from, from my extra slides. Okay. But it, it will be helpful. It would be helpful to understand uh, okay. So this is a name algorithm for determining whether a number is a finite number or a number. Right. So what this algorithm will give us? Anyone can tell me? So if I have a, if I extra a as like 30, right? So then what output I will get from this? Yes, you enter and you can number, okay? But for instance, there are some times you know that right now, so there was our initial uh, so but now you know that we can do like this way. Print, for instance, the number, number, this, uh, n, for instance, plus n, plus, sorry, n should be smaller, n, plus, you enter, is I'm telling that so the same configuration. This is almost all programming languages now. Uh, if uh, accept plus sign, use plus sign for string or any string as well as so this is a string, this part of string, we are putting it double question, okay? Then with the string, we are putting this one plus and plus. That means this n will come here. N, this 30 will come instead of this n. Plus me, when you put, uh, when your output will not be plus, your output will be like this way. The number, 
like 30. If you get space over here, then it will change space over here. If you do not give space over here, then it will not give space over here. But if the 30, then uh, you enter up to this. So this is the way to format our output. This is the way to format our output with C and this is the yeah. Sometimes, for instance, in your test, you will you may you may have some multiple if test. Okay. After if on if condition, you may see another if condition. Just look at the slide for the So why do we use modular for it? You want to find the measure, right? You want to find the measure. Okay. So if I want to check whether my uh, my number is a multiple of five, so what do I need to modify uh, to check? I want to check whether my number is a multiple of five. Yes. Mod five. Yes. So I will use mod five, right? This is not equal to this is uh, this is actually equal. So this is equal. That means it is a what kind of operator this one? This one is what? What kind of operator? No, do not. Out the this one is total is Boolean. The total, the total is we can within parenthesis this is a Boolean, but this one is double equal. Finite. There is there is the relational operator. The relational operator. Right? Relational operator that defines the relation between two operators. Define the relation. So this that you will get the for you, you, you know here, residence, residence means which one, which, which operator will work fast. Which operator will work fast. The module operator will work fast. Right? If I get A equal to 30, then if we pass, evaluate A uh, module 2, that we will get 0, right? Then after that, this uh, relational operator will have less. Uh, after that, after evaluating this, it will get zero. Then the zero will be compared to zero. Then we will get another kind of result, right? What kind of result will get here? Yeah. No, what kind of result? Boolean right? Right? Boolean result and two kinds. Either true or false, nothing else. Okay? So this is a complicated one. You can to uh, think about this for now. So you can do it. Okay, so look at this one, okay? Study this, this slide. Components of algorithm. Anyone has any question about this one? This module? Okay, then we will go through the second one. So module 2 part 1, there are two parts of module 2. Module 2 part 1 was variable, assignment and data type. Can anyone tell me what is a variable? What is a variable? Variable is a variable. 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 Variable is a variable.
power through a control and single one, one one. So we, we, should, we do not name any variable as a Q1. So file space are blocked with between program and uh, instruction. From the compiler that is not. Okay, so character strings, so we know that string, string, that means when we put something in double code, that is a string, that is considered a string. Usually, string is displayed as is, but there are some exceptions. There are some exceptions that we, you, we know that, um, for instance, yeah. <coughs> This is a good question for for this. Okay, this is one. This time not after this one. Okay. It's four o'clock. Time not after this one. So what is happening? So S one is S three getting three. Right. S two is two and S three is one and then S four is zero. So when you print S one plus S two plus S three plus S four, okay, then plus me drop. Then what you will print? Then you will do zero. Then dot dot dot. Space then one dot 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 in space of oh, zero then two zero. Oh, sorry, so guess what? What's that? Three. 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 No, not print. Print line means just in fact. Other than when it's oh, in okay. There is a tab key. If you want to make space, then space bar. So there's either space bar or tab key. This one is giving new line. Yeah. Okay. Same problem in Java language and then uh, previous one is Spanish Python and Tisha. You will, uh, you will be given some problem, some, some short instruction, right? And then there should be easy. So we discuss this, this thing, right? What is the uh, error here? Number one, this one is comma, right? Second one is valid. This one is, is invalid because it is time. Right? This one is invalid because two should not be put in double code. Right? These are the things. I'm not saying the track one. I mean, I don't expect that you will learn this. So please review this, and these are called backspace characters, okay? Escape sequence or backspace character. So in order to put, in order to print double code, we have to give double code with a backspace. So there is there are more, but this is for Python, right? Almost same for Python and other things. You just want to have to what is the effect of it in clean matter. So please, please go through this slide and if you
The variable any combination variable should start with the lower case number number card. Any can put any uh, sorry uh, variable character card. The internal card variable name by something with the number. You have to start with a uh, character. So this is the assignment of it, okay? What does this operator do? This operator assigns right hand value to the left hand. Here. So, what is total here? Total variable here, right? So, in Python, there are some languages that not try telling. Those languages, by default, can understand. Especially if it arrives to try as a for the first time assignment of it. So it is like Python. Python is a good language that it does not require to use uh, time. But in Java and C sharp, you must use time. And you see that what it is. So in your test, you will be given some code like this, okay? And then you okay, be careful over here. So you will be given some code over here, some code, some statement over here. So but do not do not do mistake but just by looking the first few lines, okay? You may have some other before if you are the last. Because what is the this one? This is for this one. Uh, if someone writes on the this one, okay. so then you will miss something, right? I will show you, especially for, I'm getting for Swiss uh, and French. So, usually, constraints are the things that do not change. Do not change our program downtime. I run the program. For instance, that by uh, conventional use, uh, define all our things. So, what is the difference? If Python does not uh, allow these constraints, so we use data types, right? There are some languages that are called strongly typed, that means you have to declare your period type when you declare the variable. But there are some languages like Fortran that are this plugin. For this plugin, it is not according to the code type and the part type. There are two types of checking, that is the high cost uh, client. One is static and dynamic type. Static type is that when you have uh, two cases of computer uh, program, uh, compilation and uh, static, static type being that requires the compilation. And something that are called dynamic type checking, that change, that type is changed using program execution. This is why my client. Even static type checking does not find 
and the combined setting, the dynamic time setting, time setting. This is why sometimes we need to do time um, casting. I'm giving you a formula to study at least 15 minutes about time uh, casting. How many of you did that? Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How many of you? Thank you so much. Okay. This time, I'll give you yeah, the I have finished 15 to 15 minutes while you're in five countries and then there's a lot of videos and a lot of resources. If you didn't go that, Okay, so there are starting size, right? Eight subset of integer, two subset of loading and uh, number, character, boolean, decimal, everything is an object. You will learn about this, okay? So remember the data size, okay? In your case, it will be asked to write data size. Remember the data size. Data type that you have to write all the objects. Okay, but instead of throwing it, you start with the API object with the big point. Okay, okay. So, Boolean in Java is a Boolean, right? In Python is a Bool, right? Ah, oh, this is the same thing. Flow it as the flow it as a whole, it is just like the pie, short, it is just long and character. And then these are primitive types. Primitive means built in. The built in which is focused in the case. But we know that still, since still there are many different types, but still we need more types. And we will know how to create our own types. The flows have only seven significance in this. That means flow shows actual value after seven decimal points. After seven decimal points. And if you need to put more decimal points, then you will do. So go through this slide, but in order to define a fluid value, we need to put A, right? At the end. For long, we need to put A. This is for data. This bool, this is a Python code. These are, these are bool, right? In Java, Boolean, and what is the Python? Is it bool or Boolean? What? Huh? You don't need to write. The string is a different and special type. We can learn that later. Okay. So anyone has any question about this? Until this? Let's go to the next slide.
This slide was saying that the expression of the video slide, right? Data slide and expression. What is an expression? In English, it's a census, and in programming language, it's a census. But in our daily life, we use English language. Sometimes we say small census, and sometimes we say large census, right? Census. In computer programming, it's a census that we have to have an expression. Sometimes an expression is very simple, for instance, this one. And in front of our people, and sometimes you see a lot of questions. Sometimes the senses can be one paragraph, right? Single senses can be one single paragraph, right? Then, sometimes you see a single instruction in one, it takes multiple lines. And in in programs, some programming languages, all the instructions are in the in the same language, but not in all languages. Some languages are not required to be very good. So we learn uh, different types of operators, right? How many types are? Unary operators those have only one operator. Yes, those are called unary operators. There are some operators, most of the operators are binary operators. Oh, there are two classes class, class, class minus, and then this, these are the class class, minus, minus, these are the unary operators. And there is one trinary operator, it takes three operators. Here is an example I am showing, and you can see Google search the long time ago. So we learned different types of binary uh, operators. These are arithmetic operators and most, these are all polygons, or polygons, right? Any, can you but only one is of exception, a new modulus operator, it finds the remainder after the issue, not the result. Class? Oh, there are two classes that you say oh. ah. Class is binary. Sometimes we use x plus y. Sometimes most of the time we use y is class d. We have a with d x plus y. Right? This, this class is binary class. And sometimes if we say like a is equal to class 30. So this class is human class. But most of the time we do not use unary unary class. We are going to class, but it is correct. These are for the top and and Okay. Yeah. But unary minus is required. If my number is negative number, right? I have to put the negative sign. Must put the negative sign. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 These are not right. So we discuss this, right? How or how like 25 divided by 3, this is two trigger division. You see that division, okay? So it will give you an integer number A, but in this modular operator will give you the remainder. This one it will give you This is the common thing. So you know the operator precedence. Precedence that means from uh, which side. Precedence that associated with so precedence is the precedence word. I think this is of uh From left or right? Mm -hmm. I think this slide has been actually the same. Yeah, I see. I see the difference in left or right, or right to left. Some of our is for left to right, some of our is right to left. 
you don't need a bar now, you don't have anything. You don't need anything for that. You have nothing in the So, in your test, you will be given some. We discussed this, okay, so we discussed this one, right, guys? So, uh, there are two versions of incremental operator. One is called prefix and another is called postfix, right? So the postfix one, this is postfix one. You will use the old A, old value. It's easy, whatever you get past, you get A, you will use old value. Then, it will increment A by one. Their incremented value will be used in the next step. And what will be the output of this? For line, and tell me, first one zero, right? There is no doubt. First one zero. Then second one zero. zero. Then third one two. Why is two? Because it indicates the previous postfix. Okay, yeah. So in this line, you can make x equal to one, right? And then at this line, you will first increase x by one. Then it will be two. Then it will be two, right? And then this line, it will be. Now it will be uh, 0, 0, 2, 2. It's better to understand by this, by doing this part like this. You can write this program, and now you can to understand. Yeah, right. if, I, if I tell you 0, 0, 2, 2, you may not feel it. Everybody, all of you may not feel it, right? But if you have a computer program, then you will feel it. The incremental operator increment is operated by one and incremental operator increment uh, by, by one. So that's the six that is good. So but what is the advantage of using plus one? Because you have two two notes, three six and four six, right? This operator has two notes, three six and four six, but each other has two notes, so we have only one notes. It has some advantages of using this. So this is the shortcut, right? Class equal to means A class equal to 3 means A equal to class. Oh, sorry, I, I forgot to give you a uh, back. Can you please wait, wait, can you please sign on me? Can you please call me? Can you please sign on the sheet? Sorry. Put the date. Put the date over here and sign on the sheet. The part.
What will be the result? What will be the output? Then, then true, right? You learned it in school, right? Number system, line. Okay, so we have zero in the summer, right? This side is positive and this side is negative, right? For instance, integer numbers. Integer numbers, then natural numbers. Natural numbers start with from one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this way, right? And then for integer numbers, both positive and negative. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative three. So, for character, character type is integer type. It takes from zero to the this way, and by this is the character type. Some language has character type, and by type it has both integer positive and negative. So this is by type. This is by type. Okay, and then there is another short type. The short type is, is, is greater than uh, byte. Short, for instance, this way. For instance, this is short. Okay, then there is integer. So integer has this length. For instance, this length. Integer. And there is long. Long is more wider. For instance, this is long. So, if you have a long number, okay. That may be very long, positively, that can be like this, can be here, like a very large number, okay, but this number may not be an integer range, an integer range, right, but if you have an integer number, then definitely that will be in the range of long, right, so if you have a like byte type, or a short type, those are within the range of long. So, why is doing some operation? And then you get to convert from one type to another type. So, in order to convert, you need to be careful. Right? If you convert a long type to a short type, right? you may lose something. Okay? Like, for instance, if I long a short type, Short 
But the reason I think of reverse one, which is a small number, which is a very large one, which is lava. Right? Then a uh, number, how do you do that? Do that. You put zero, some zero on the left side. Right? Then you put some zero on the left side, then nine. Janu will not be changed, right? So this same, this, this is a concept, time time. But why is it required? Why is it required to do time cut? It is required So uh, it is required sometimes because unless you can have the result of an operation, like for instance, if you divide a long number by another number, your result will be long, no matter how short the value. In this case, if you put integer, then you will have So we have a slide, some slide about uh, time cutting, and do some good research about time cutting. It's easy. Okay? In your program, maybe uh, you will not be asked to do like detail, but you maybe you can have to so we saw the effect of time cutting needed. Why did it Because if we do not use time cutting over here, we will get an unexpected result. So in the other case, we will not be asked to write program by this. And you will be given some course, and in, I mean, let me go to the last, next slide. So most of your questions will be from next slide. Yes. No, so I have some PowerPoint slides. In order to, I thought that it would be easy for me to teach you, and easy for you to understand. Those are not to be done. So read thoroughly this slide, okay? Read thoroughly this slide, so you will be given some uh, Boolean statement and you will be uh, you will not be given this one, okay? Forget about it. We only discuss Boolean that are So you will be given some if and else and you will be given some statement with if, else, if and you will be asked to change it to switch it. And giving a question. When you give us a code, we know we can keep it as element and we will be asked to convert that to the switch. It's a switch and then these are elements. Yeah. So in the sheet, there are some examples, right? 
This is the negation of the operator. D is equal, to the negation of the operator. It is equal. And then only one equal that is called assign okay. the operator. Yes? It finds the relation of this. It gives either true or false. Boolean. So this is the negation of the operator. And then this is the relation of the operator. Pi gets the g is true. So study this, yeah, I discussed this one. This is the logical operator. So logical operator works only with relational operator. So you cannot say like this. Rational operator works only that if a few minutes ago, recall that I wrote like this way, pi greater than uh, like for example, I wrote five less than five less than fifteen and uh, 15 greater than 20, right? Actually, this is a relational operator and this is another relational expression. So, this expression will be executed first. After that, so that it will be false, it will be true, true and and this is false, right? True and false is false. But these operators do not work on any other type. Like question, you cannot tell, you cannot tell 5 and 50. This is a magic. What is the reason? Because this logical operator works only with other kind of relation. So the Boolean not if it's a true then not will be false. If you are false then not will be true. See it up and down. Okay, so you will be given some code like this. Yes, you will be given some code like this. We have to write we have to write that. Okay, so what is the value of A? What is the value of A over here? So you will give us some half expression value, okay? You have to write your answer. And especially you will be given some this is the you will be given some expression like for instance you will be given okay you will be given some expression like this okay and you will be asked to find your result the result will be either true or false but you have to write all of you have to show you what other one will have a point yes the other one that was like four five So it says, it does not say, it says that this, this different one the value. That's why this x will be the true or false, different one the value of program and then something. For instance, so if you have this part, like program, that's the next class. That is not found. How long? So these are, these are hypothetical.
Okay, so we are the, we discuss E, the condition and then the end, right? So like for E or test, you will be given some code like this. Some code like this, and you will be given a download and you will be asked to find the result. Okay, so you will be given a course, course segment with E, LC, and L, and you will be asked to write convert it to switch. Switch, okay. So another thing that I okay, will see is the value of Okay, for instance, if you are given, you will be given some code, and for instance, here, you will see that we through all of the stages, okay. You may find that your condition we need here and also here. Two places. So if you find that your condition meet at the top and do not keep that out. This through the end of it. Say that whether your condition meet in other places. Try to find that. Okay, the system. Okay, so what is the advantage of using brakes? And then these advantages of using brakes. What is if I forget this? If I don't use brakes. Yeah, if I forget brakes, let's see. E will run this and this and remaining. Okay. For instance, if my first condition is satisfied, right? Then it will execute this statement. Okay, then if I forget to use break, then C will use second. Take second condition. Okay? Be careful about uh, when you find break switch effect. Many people even have some programmer when you sometimes give you break, you will be given. Uh, so if you do not use break, then you will still be connected to this. So you will have some question about switch and go. But if you are using break, then be careful about break. Okay, and what is the default statement? You can keep all of the previous conditions. Okay. Right. Anyone have any Uh uh, someone left here.
See you. Be prepared for the exam. I like you to get full points, okay? Yes, sir. The language you're supposed to read is it written in Java? No, any language you can write. It. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. uh, when you ask us to uh, give out the output, I know there are kind of like output will be same. Output will be uh, language independent. Okay. Your output will not be language dependent. Yeah. Okay. But you'd write the, like on the exam, like you'd write it in Java or Python.